Welcome to get to know the speakers of Digital Confex. Today we have with us Ali Raghav, who is founder and CTO at Sec Delta. He will be joining as a speaker on the topic Zero Trust Security Framework, enhancing cybersecurity in the digital age during the second information technology Confex happening in Dubai on 16 October. Hi Ali, welcome to the chat show. Hi Aish, thank you very much for having me. Yeah, it's our pleasure to have you on our conference and chat show. So, Ali, please give us a brief introduction of yourself and your field of expertise for our audience. Yeah, sure. So, my name is Ali. I'm uh, currently the CTO of Sec Delta, a uh, cybersecurity company based in Dubai. And uh, I come from a background of software development, a stack like Golang, JavaScript, and, uh, and so on. And uh, through my career, I have transited from uh, software development to leadership positions and previously worked as uh, chief information security officer to one of the uh, Saudi Arabia companies, leading the, the whole cybersecurity landscape and compliance management, working with engineering team for secure architecture, and even working with uh, any regulatory framework uh, like uh, SAMA cybersecurity framework and so on. So uh, I'm currently leading the product development for uh, my company, SecDelta, and I'm happy to be with you now. Yeah, it's great knowing you. So tell us your excitement for our event. Yeah, I'm very, very excited uh, because this conference is getting more re re uh, good opportunity to share knowledge in uh, cybersecurity topics, different cybersecurity topics like zero trust security and so on. And even it would be a good opportunity for me to meet senior leaders in this uh, in this area and, and this market, uh, sharing insights and so on. So I'm very, very excited to attend. So moving forward, I have a few questions for you today. My first question is, what are the key steps organizations should take to implement a zero trust security framework effectively? Yeah, this is a very good question. Uh, thank you for that. And uh, uh, I all I I advise organizations to uh, first of all uh, classify their data. So they should know uh, what is the critical data, what is a high priority data, high sensitive data, and so on. So without without starting with this point, uh, the quality of building a zero trust and privacy of data will not be in place. So first of all, uh, classifying the data and then start to build the cybersecurity or zero trust uh, on top of that. Uh, starting with the low level network, so organizations should isolate any network which is leading to sensitive information from any other non-important or non-critical uh, network uh, layers. And this is called micro segmentation for the network itself. And then start to add uh, very strong authentication mechanisms like multi-factor authentication and maybe integrating with uh, single sign-on providers and so on. And then uh, start to build very strong segmented authorization layer for uh, adapting the least privileges uh, and so on. And th these accesses should be uh, temp access. So it should be controlled with least duration so there is no any uh, long-lived uh, access or sessions to any uh, sensitive resources. And finally, builds very secured observability all over this. So you should have audit for any active sessions, what is happening as transaction logs and access logs, and so on. So all of this, and even more something like encryption for data and so on, we will talk uh, in, uh, in a, lo a lot of uh, details in the conference for sure. So all of these will form uh, a very good layer or level for zero trust security in terms of uh, human to system or APIs or actually machines accesses. And even that will even the same for system to system authentication or API to API and, and, and so on. I think yeah. you explained very nicely, I think step by step and priority wise also. So my Thank next you. question will be, how does Zero Trust Security help in protecting organizations against modern threats like ransomware and insider attacks? Awesome. So uh, Zero Trust Security uh, is not a technology in itself. 
it is a design, right? So as we talked, like uh, building strong authentication for users to access resources, we need to consider the devices of these users as well. So this call is uh, security for their endpoint devices, right? And organizations should implement and build uh, endpoint uh, uh, detection and response. So automatically to, de to detect any abnormal uh, behavior coming from their devices as well. Especially, currently the whole world is, is moving to the remote work, right? And a lot of organizations even adopt bring your own device policies, correct? So I shouldn't, as long as I, I didn't uh, trust the users, I shouldn't trust even their devices. So uh, by the EDR or detection response, if there is any abnormal traffic coming from specific device, so I should build a mechanism to extract this device out of accessing any resources, even if the user has access. So I shouldn't trust both, right? So by building and calculating the trust score of any user on, and his devices, this will minimize the effect and uh, the big problem coming from uh, the ransomware, something like ransomware. And even that will minimize any uh, making mitigation plan for any any possible threat actors internally, even because attacks come uh, from internal as well. So this mechanism will will be very very good uh, to start with. I think this mechanism is very proficient. I think that's yeah. why it's used in every organizations. So I have some rapid fire questions also. So my first question is, tell us what song cheer you up while working? Oh yeah. <laughs> so for me, actually, I uh, I work with uh, in in calm places. I I don't I don't choose to uh, to hear songs or something like this because this, that will distract me from focusing and uh, working in a productive way. So I don't actually uh, okay. listen to songs while working. Yeah. So any favorite thing you do while working from home? Yeah, the most uh, uh, good thing that I love is getting my breakfast and lunch with my family and uh, getting my, my focus away from work and focus on my personal life a bit. Uh, this will will make me uh, in a good position once I return back to uh, to work. Yeah. So any hobbies you do in your free time? Yeah, I, I, I love cars. I love to uh, uh, follow the news of the cars, all cars, luxury and non-luxury, actually, and uh, discovering good places in, in Dubai since I'm based in this lovely city. So, yeah, that's it. <laughs> Thanks, Ali. It was great connecting with you, and I am thrilled with your excitement to join our conference. So, any words for Same. our participants who will be joining the conference? Yeah, I advise the participants not to miss this uh, talk uh, because it's very, very good uh, to have. Uh, and even organizations should adopt the zero trust because if, uh, it's important to any business right now, whether it is fintech or even non-fintech, uh, for protecting their assets and uh, and so on. So do not miss this and seize the opportunity to meet larger community in, in this conference. Great. Thanks for your time today, Ali. And to all the participants, don't miss this session happening on IT Confex on 16 October, presented by Digital Confex in Dubai. Get a great chance to connect with them in person. See you soon, Ali. Thank you very much, Ayush. See you soon.